Well, I got all the pieces broke down, painted. Painted that black. Got the riffles black. The legs over there black. And then everything else metallic purple for the girls. They were pretty excited when they seen it, that kind of purple. So I just had to buy one more can, got the bottom painted up, just gonna let it dry here for a bit. And then I'll slowly start putting her all together. Well, there's pretty much the end result. I still got to put the spray bars on. I got to put the little dampening mat up there. And then we got to put clips here to install the quick re release for the riffles. And that's pretty much it. Looks good. So hopefully we'll get the spray bars on, everything else buttoned down, and then some hose so I can try that submersible pump. I'll find out then if it has enough uh, flow to make this thing work properly. If not, I'll just uh, throw my inch and a half by one inch swedge on there and run it off the inch and a half pump just probably at a low low idle the thing's pretty small like here's my here's my hat for comparison and the hopper pretty interested to try this thing out with the Aggressive riffles up on the top. Expand the metal down below. I'm sure she'll catch pretty good. A little dampening pad put in. I didn't go right down to the riffle. I didn't want to obstruct too much water, so that'll take care of the little spray that comes through and smooth everything out. Rivets in the back there holding it on with a little aluminum plate. There, buckles and spray bars. Yeah, it comes from the top and falls down through the bottom. Why? That's how you get the gold. That's how you get the gold. Yeah, we lift it up. And hey, it goes do you guys down. like do you guys like your high banker? Yes, yes. What do you like about it the best? Um, camping. What do you like about your high banker? Um, purple. You like the purple? Did you yeah. guys pick the purple? Yeah. Got it pretty much finished. I'm gonna try make a bushing for the front of it there. So I can put my hey, inch and Daddy. a half. I can put my inch and a half pump on here. Why did he step on my toe? I got big feet. I'm gonna put some spray bars on. Dad, why did you step on my toe? And I just finished the over here. Just a quick attach for the uh, grating, or the riffles I mean. We These ones are nice because they got a like adjustable shredder here. Maybe we'll get a chance to take it out Excuse and me, try it out. Why did you step on my toe? Sorry, it was an accident. Why did you step on my toe too? There's the last <clears throat> piece of the puzzle. I ground down a one inch ball valve till it would fit inside this inch and a half nipple. 
and I welded it around there. Now I got a bushing. There, I can use now a one inch hose or else I'll screw this on, hopefully. Now I put a forestry fitting on there and I got an inch and a half hookup for the bigger pump. I got a feeling with the whole COVID thing going on, we're gonna try and just hunker down and survive this thing. So I'll probably just use what I got and probably run this off the inch and a half uh, high or, uh, pump for now. And then once the, this is all over, then I'll go and get some forestry hose, uh, hopefully one inch lay flat, and I'll try that submersible pump out. I don't got no valve on there. I think I'll be able to control the water flow enough with the throttle like this at a low idle I think it'll be just perfect so if it, if I still have a problem then I'll put a valve on there to control the flow a little bit better well, the next step is take it out and hook a pump up to it and try it out here she goes first try holy fuck that's a lot of water Yeah, there's supposed to be holes in it. Why? That, that water coming from here? Yeah, it sure is, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. We gotta put some seal sealant on those uh, PVC joints. That'll take care of those little sprays. I just pan tighten them, I didn't know how much it would spray out. Oh. Yeah. Try to set out a six degree slope right now. Well, there she is again. I had to put her down on the ice here. It was starting to erode the driveway. So I think the only thing that I'm not too happy with is all the air bubbles. I think the holes coming into the spray bars are a little bit uh, too small. So I'm going to increase them one size and then you go from an inch and a half hose down to the one inch and it's going to reduce itself right away and it's probably going to cause a lot of cavitation kind of and create some ox oxygen in the air bubbles. It's like you can't see your bubbles coming out of the water, but as soon as it starts to mix around, it's pretty significant up in the Hungarian ripples. It's not too bad down there. And I think once you start putting some dirt with it, it'll get kind of a slurry built up and you won't get a bunch of air bubbles in it as bad. It's amazing how much these joints will leak. I overlapped it three inches on either end and yet it still comes out of the bottom but whatever. It'll still catch gold anyways. And I'll seal the joints up in the PVC take care of all that spray and just to slap her together a quick test run it's about all I can do with the low idle though anything more than that the pump just over sprays in the back too much <laughs> 